imagine you find yourself in a situation where the screen of your android phone is shattered or not responsive yet you urgently need to retrieve important data from it well in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to successfully extract every piece of data from a malfunctioning or a broken android screen and then transfer them into your laptop without spending a dime in this following tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a cost-effective and a practical method to salvage your valuable information from a damaged Android phone. Whether your screen is cracked, unresponsive to touch, or completely blackout, you will learn a comprehensive solution to regain access to your data. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge and the tools to securely and efficiently copy your files, your photos, and every other data that you have on your phone directly into your computer so don't let a broken android screen be a barrier to your important data all right so with that being said let's get started guys before we get started guys if today is actually your first time here on my channel i would like you to subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification so anytime that i drop a new content just like this on the channel you'll be notified and then you come and watch the video and don't forget to give us a like button all right so with that being said let's jump right into the video guys All right guys, so to copy out all the data from this broken Android phone, now what you need here now, you will need your Android charging cable, your Android charging cable, and you wanna ensure that it's a data cable that you can use to transfer data from your Android phone to your laptop, all right? So when you have that with you, the next thing you wanna do here now is to connect the cable to your PC, and then you connect the other end to your phone, All right guys, so you wanna click on this file explorer and then you move over to this PC. So this is the phone that we just connected. This is Galaxy A14. The folder is currently empty. So we need to authorize the laptop access on the phone. So to authorize that, all you have to do here just to close this page and then you need to open this Visa software, right? So if you don't know how to install this Visa, I've made a complete video on how to set up, how to download and install Visa together with ADB driver in my recent video. Now I'm gonna be leaving a link to that video in the description box below all you have to do is just to click on that link and it will take you to my previous video which i've made on how to download and install visor together with adb driver on your pc so without visor and adb driver you cannot control and access the screen of your android phone on your pc all right so what you have to do here just to open up the visor software all right guys so this is the android phone which we just connected to the system now we have three different options here now the first option here is to share device second option is to view wirelessly and then the third option is to view device so we want to click on view device all right guys so from this page as you can see here allow access to phone data right so from here you want to click on allow Alright guys, so as you can see here, we can now view the screen of this Android phone on this laptop and we can literally control everything that happens on the Android phone, right? So since we have authorized the laptop access on the Android device, so you want to go back to your file explorer now. So go back to your and then you click on this PC and then you open up the Galaxy A14. Here we have our internal storage from here. We can now back up all the data, we can now copy out all the data that we need to copy from the android phone to the laptop
all right guys so that is the quick on how to copy our data from a broken android screen to your laptop all right so you may not necessarily need to fix your android phone screen before you could access the data that is inside the smartphone all you have to do here just to follow the step-by-step -step process that i've demonstrated in this video and you'll be able to access the data that is on your android phone right so like i said if you don't know how to install visa and adb driver and i've already made a complete video on how to do that and i'm going to be leaving a link to that video in the description box below click on it and it will take you to that video which i've made on how to download and install visa and then adb driver all right so with that being said see you guys in the very next tutorial now if today is your first time here on the channel consider subscribing click on the like button draw down a comment in the comment section and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our future tech support video here on this channel all right so with that being said see you guys in the very next one bye for now